That was a lot of fun spraying some asses. The Catholic girls know how to run wild while the boys know how to run away. I think it's time to teach music with my dick in my hand. Oh no, I'm either part Japanese or... I really like that kind of stuff, you know what I'm saying. Hello, this is Tio Diego here, and as you can tell, I went to a Catholic school. I went to a Catholic school for most of my life, and I know that some of you are in high school too, and I know even fewer of you are probably even in a Catholic school. Because this is a very Catholic channel, I will give you all you need to know on how to get through a Catholic school. Because your T.O. can't be the only one kneeling and eating the flesh of Christ. So I feel that it is my duty to lead you through Catholic school with my experience. Most of my teachers brought their kids with them, like from newborn to three years old, let's say, with them to classes whenever they had to teach as well as during lunches. The main idea was that the teachers would always have their kids around them pretty much at all times, but the rest of us were, well, it, let's say if we, had, if we had to go to the cafeteria, well, that's where all the priests were. And let's just say your stomach wasn't the only thing that was filled up. Another cringy thing that these schools try to do is to put those kids on the street, then you gotta do a hip rap to a hip hop beat. So I gave my sermon and, and cool urban kick. My rhymes are fly, my beats are sick. Pop. My crew is big and it keeps getting bigger. Christian music. That's cause Jesus Christ is my nigga. Into mass. This is as edgy as an Amy Schumer special. Just stop. Most entertainment that's not as edgy as Veggie Tales are viewed as part of Satan's plans to lower Catholicism's morality. As an example, the Harry Potter series at my school was viewed as a lure to good fellow Catholics like me. At first I thought that my school was wrong with Harry Potter, but when J.K. Rowling went after a fellow Christian channel like mine, well, I was proven wrong. <laughs> Very, very wrong. While I was at school, I was always worried about my grades. So I would always go to confessional with a, a very, very touchy Catholic priest who would always work with me um, outside of confession. I never saw him too much, especially after I had to use my rosary on his asshole. Most schools always brought like a special guest, let's say, for school events or graduation and so on, which really isn't anything new. But one of the most important guests into making me who I am today <laughs> is Jared Fogel. He went to my school and, well, he gave a totally new meaning to what a $5 foot long is. Let's just say Subway didn't give me a good way to lose weight after Jared gave me a very high protein diet. Finally, the one that had trouble the most. Even with all of this, the girls would still never talk to me. <laughs> Another thing that I had troubles with at school were understanding the Holy Trinity part. Like, basically what it is is like Jesus, uh, the Holy Spirit, and God are all in one. But I never understood that because, well, how does that make any sense? And so my teacher would basically always tell me that, well, it's literally three in one. So, I guess they were running a train on them, on themselves. So, and I also guess that's why many Christians were also in part of the Trump train. 
I have had plenty of sexual intercourses with uh, with, uh, with with my hands. I'm Catholic, so we're always into that kind of freaky shit, if you know what I'm saying. And if you didn't know what I was saying, well, not only are you bigoted towards Catholics, by the way, you've also have caused microaggression. If you keep on doing that, that's gonna make me more and more madder. But part of what it means to be Catholic is to partake in a very holy process called autoerotic asphyxiation. With your significant other, by the way. If you do it by yourself, that's just sick. Now say it with me, auto-erotic asphyxiation. One more time now, auto-erotic asphyxiation. There you go, you are closer to understanding Catholicism. <laughs> oh. Sorry, uh, uh, that, that's just what our priests would do when we Either learn something or have to be quiet about some stuff. Now I will show you how it is done with Mr. Or how, I mean, I mean, Miss Jackie, because that's just sick. Thank y'all, children. Now that you finally learn how it means to be Catholic, it's time for y'all to, to learn what auto, auto erotic asphyxiation is. So let's show y'all. To do an autoerotic asphyxiation, all you have to do is just tie up the door with your belt, like so. Then slowly put your belt around your neck. Then as you're slowly Hello, this is the Fake News Network. We are currently at the scene of a strongly devoted religious household. Hello, this is FNN. What? We are getting complaints about showing a dead body hanging around on YouTube? And that we are despicable for showing a hanging body on a very religious channel? And that we shouldn't show anything graphic to kids? Well, what about that Swedish child rapist that said the n-word on a stream? Okay, so that's okay because he is also a fellow Christian channel. I see. Well, why would he be offended by a dead guy that's hanging around? Okay, thank you. So apparently we are receiving word on, there are tons of comments that are asking me to go kill myself. Well, I'm not, I don't want to reshoot uh, the hanging scene again, so 